This must be the place. I don't know about this, it looks pretty creepy. Of course it does, stupid. It's been abandoned for how long? Josh said like around 30 years or something. Yeah, see? Come on, let's go check it out. Yeah, it is. I don't know about this, Julia. This is a bad idea. Would you just relax? What is- what's wrong with you anyways? What are you so freaked out about? Well, what if there really is a guy out here? <sighs> Jeremy, that's just a story. Josh and his friends are just trying to scare you, that's all. Well, it worked. Come on. Fake, Jeremy. You're just scaring yourself. Let's go. Hey. Get it. Take a picture. Hey. What's that? Now, why would there be a picture of a dog hanging up? in the haunted house. I don't know, let me take a picture.
Kind of weird being back home, huh? Yeah. Come on. It's gonna be weird staying in this house without mom around. I know. We're gonna have to get used to it though. I just think we may have waited too long to come back here. This place doesn't feel like home anymore. Well, it has been six months. She would have wanted us to come back sooner or later. I think mom would have understood. You see how she looked before she died? I couldn't have stayed here right after. Well, it sounds to me like we didn't wait long enough to come back here. Yeah. Yeah, you may be right about that. Look, I'm gonna go unpack. I'll see you in a little, okay? You all right? Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. Okay. I haven't seen those photos in a long time. Damn, you scared me. God, what's up with you lately? I don't know. Probably just being back in this house, like I said. Or is it that photo that's been freaking you out? I can't believe we never told Mom about that day. Yeah, right. She would have killed us for riding all the way out there. Yeah, I guess you would have. Do you still think it was just somebody trying to mess with us? Come on, duh. Do you actually think anything Josh ever said was true? Him and his dad were always trying to prank people. Yeah, but Josh always swore it wasn't them, even until they moved away. And I guarantee if we went back to that place today, no one would be there. You know why? Why? Because it was Josh's dad in the mask. And like you said, they moved away. I suppose so. Look, why don't we stop looking at this stuff and get everyone together? You really want to hang out with those guys? Jeremy, they're our friends, not strangers. Just because you went to college doesn't mean you have to sever every tie with this town. Okay, let's do it. Good, I'll go call everybody. Why don't you head over to the store and get some beer? All right.
Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Like, I don't understand. No. <laughs> hey, look at that fish. So what do you guys want to do tomorrow? Eh, I don't know. What do you want to do? Beach, maybe? No, we were just there a few days ago. Yeah, but we weren't. What about the lake? No, fuck that. The warm weather's got the lake gross as fuck right now. What then? The skate park? When's the last time you even got on a skateboard? Last time he bust his ass in front of the whole damn school. Shut the fuck up, at least I have the balls to try that shit. Yeah, look what happened, that was like three years ago. I'll bet you're a whole lot worse now. What the fuck ever. I'm gonna sit down. What about the water park? <laughs> yeah, right, just zoom in on my empty wallet, man. Swear to God, Tommy, you're always broke. Fuck off, woman, I spend my money on important shit. Yeah, right, on beer and cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But seriously, any ideas that we can actually agree on? Well, we could just hang around the pool all day. Yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, idiot. Yeah, I have an idea. What would that be, Einstein? Let's go check out that haunted house on Deer Park Road. Oh, come on, man. Didn't they tear that place down already? I don't know, but we should go and see. I thought that place freaked you out. Well, it does. You guys are still trying to talk like you actually went out there all those years ago. You still don't believe us after all this time? Hell no. Tom, you saw my knee look the next day after I skinned it out there? You could have done that anywhere, idiot. That's not proof of anything. You really don't believe us, do you? Hell no. <laughs> nope. Uh, no. And where the hell did I take this picture? You believe me now? Hope you know what you're getting yourself into, kid. Can't forget the beer, man. Can't forget your brain either, but you always do that. Haha, <laughs> blow me. No thanks. Oh, sorry kids, I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, Miss Cabot, well, it's okay. I just don't get to see much of you kids now that you're grown and in college. Yeah, we'll be keeping busy with school and stuff. But how are you? You doing okay? Oh, never better. But I don't want to keep you long. Um, but listen, I just wanted to tell you how sorry I am about your mother. Thank you. That means a lot. She was a good woman and a great mother. She was. But listen, you kids ever need anything, don't be afraid to come knocking. I'm right next door, you know. Thanks, Miss Kettlewell. We'll keep that in mind. Hey, kids, how are you? How are you, Mrs. Kettlewell? Hey, Mrs. Kettlewell. You kids have fun. I'll see you later. See ya. Take it easy.
kids aren't planning on running around that haunted house, are you? Those woods are dangerous. They're probably full of hobos and drug addicts. No place for kids like you. Uh, no. That's just a picture we've had since we were kids. We explored that place a long time ago. We're just on our way to the lake, that's all. I also forgot that I had that in my pocket. You can't stay away from there, you hear? Okay. All right. All right. She really has gotten crazy, hasn't you, man? Whatever, she's psycho. You really think she's serious? Detective Ryan. Yes, yes, Miss Kettlewell, is that you? No, Miss Kettlewell. My father, Detective Mark Ryan, has been retired for eight years now. I told you this many times. This is John Ryan. Yes, yes, what's going on now, Miss Kettlewell? A bunch of kids, teenagers? Okay. Yes, I'm writing it all down now. Yes, I promise I'm writing it down, Miss Kettlewell. Okay, okay, I promise I'll go check it out right now. Thank you for calling. Bye now. Who was that? Just Miss Kettlewell ranting again. What does she want this time? She wants me to go out to Deer Park Road. Deer Park Road? For what? Some kid she knows, apparently. I forgot all about that place. I think everyone did, except Miss Kettlewell, of course. So what did you tell her? I shrugged it off. Come on, Ryan! What? That place has been condemned for years. I don't want a bunch of kids running around there getting hurt. So what do you want me to do? Go check it out! Captain, this is grunt work. Send a freaking patrol car out there. Ryan, we're one of the few people left who even remembers where this place is. But I... No buts. You got nothing else lined up for today. You got a week of vacation coming up. Now go. Yeah, cool. What did you say? I said yes, sir. That's what I thought. Now get going. Asshole.
I can't believe this place is still here. I fucking told you guys. Still doesn't mean y'all explored the place though. Yeah, all the kids knew how to come out here, but nobody had the balls to go inside. Except us. Come on. Well, this place is fucking freaky. No joke. And this isn't even the creepiest part. The most fucked up part is where I took that photo. The photo of Josh's dad, you mean? I keep telling y'all Josh and his dad swore it wasn't him. But for our sake, let's hope it was. Oh my god, guys, let's just fucking go. Good shit. So where do you guys want to explore first? We never got to see what was down that way. You mean the last time you were here and seen the clown? You need to quit with that shit. We saw what we saw and that's where we saw him. Right. Well, we're going this way. Y'all coming or what? Nah, y'all can go ahead. I'm about to spark up this blunt. I know how much y'all hate that shit. Fuck you. That shit trips me the fuck out. You know that. Yeah, me too. What about you two? Nah, there's a corridor I seen back at the beginning I want to go check out. Do you have your cigarettes with you? Yeah. Let me get one. Yeah, sure. Looks like I'm going with Tommy. Sorry, Court. Hey, whatever. More green for me. I'll see y'all in a few. Alright. Well, I guess we'll meet up later. Yeah, we'll meet up. Just remember which way we came. We should be down that way by the time you guys finish. Gotcha. You guys be careful, all right? Okay. You still up for this? Yeah, like you said, it was probably just a prank, right? Yeah, it probably was. It's all right. I brought some backup anyways. You're an idiot. <laughs> All right.
Hey, you fuckers, I know that's you fucking around. Fuck, man, come on. If you wanted to hit, all you had to do was ask. Fucker. So do you actually believe Jeremy and Aaliyah about the guy they saw out there? No. You do? Eh, I don't know, but you know, who knows? No, they're just trying to freak everybody out, and if they are telling the truth, which I doubt, then it was probably just a prank by Josh and Dad. You know how they are. Yeah, I guess. You remember how Josh's dad was. Yeah, he was a crazy motherfucker, that's for sure. Yeah, I remember that time for Halloween where he dressed up as Pac-Man and chased all the kids around the street trying to eat them? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude, I almost pissed my pants, man. <laughs> Listen, Megan, I gotta take a leak real quick, but I wanna see what's down that way when I get back. Just hurry up, we have to catch up with the others at some point. Alright. Hey, Tommy, hurry up. Tommy? No, no! Ah. Tommy! Tommy! Tommy?
Woods are getting thick. Yeah, we can't even see the path anymore. I think we should have stopped a while ago. Why? The others will catch up. Not if we keep moving, they won't. Yeah, I guess maybe we should turn back. Yeah, we're not even anywhere near the haunted house anymore. Let's just go. Alright, good. Where is everyone? I don't know. I figured we'd run into them by now. Guys! Hey, guys! What the hell? That dog picture, the same one, isn't it? Yeah, it's like someone was trying to preserve it. What are you doing? I'm taking it with us this time. Why? I don't know, evidence maybe, but I think we need to find the others now. Why am I suddenly getting a bad feeling about coming back here? I am too. Come on, let's go find the others. You all right? Did you get hit in the head? Did you get hit in the head? Listen, just stop moving your head around, okay? We're gonna have an ambulance here as soon as possible. Just stay still, stay still. You're gonna be okay. Ha <laughs> ha
You're all right, detective. Here, you might want these back. Do you remember anything? Yeah, I remember everything. Good. I'm going to need to fill out a report when you're feeling better. How bad is it? Minor concussion, few bruised bones and some scrapes. Nothing major. A concussion isn't major? Welcome to our world, kid. By the time your dad was your age, he'd been through a whole lot worse than this. Captain, I really don't need to be compared to my father right now. So, where's the girl? I see you. I see you? How bad is she? Major concussion, fractured spinal column, up. She's in a coma. What? She was awake when I saw her. Doctors say when she lost consciousness, she just never woke up again. What about the boy? He was already on the ground when I showed up. I never saw if he was alive or not. We didn't find any boy. He was the girl's brother, are you sure? He was right there on the ground. I'm sure, Detective. Jeremy's his name. Aaliyah's brother. You know their names? Miss Kettlewell. I contacted her after this happened. Brought her up to speed. Got a little info out of her while I was at it. Did you guys find any of the other kids? We found three others. All of them dead. What? Two guys and a girl. They all had their heads bashed in. I've seen some shit over the years. Those kids take the cake for me. What about the clown? So the guy was actually a clown, huh? Just like those stories? What do you mean? You saw his mask, didn't you? Where is he now? Down in the morgue? Ryan, we didn't find anybody there with you guys. Just like Jeremy, this guy, whoever he was, was not there when the boys showed up. You gotta be fucking kidding me, right? I'm sorry, Ryan. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You can tell me you still have those grunts out there searching through the damn woods. We have a psychopath still loose out there, and a hurt kid who could still be alive. I had them search the area all day, all night. They didn't find anyone. You mean you called that off already? I had to. Oh, you had to. Mayor McLaughlin got on the chief's ass about wasting city dollars hunting down a story out there. He forced us to call off the hunt. What kind of bullshit is that? He can't do that. Come on, Ryan. You know he can. He's convinced one of those kids went nuts and killed the other three. I'm pretty sure they're trying to say that Jeremy kid is the one responsible for all this. Captain, I can vouch for these kids. I encountered this psycho. Whether it's the guys from the stories or not. Some guy in a clown mask carrying a baseball bat just fucked these kids' world up and then just disappeared. Ryan! No, Captain, the Chief of the Mayor can fuck off. This is fucking ridiculous. Hey, hey, take it easy. I'm on your side here, remember? Ryan, look. I'm putting you on paid leave, okay? Consider this your vacation a few days earlier. Whatever you want to call it. Take a few extra days off, then go enjoy your vacation. Get well, rest up, then we'll start back up on this. I'm not resting up, Captain. As soon as they clear me to get out of here, I want to see Miss Kettlewell back at the station. I need to talk to her as soon as possible. Ryan, you're taking this vacation, and you're starting it now. You know that's not going to stop me from doing it. I want to see the girl. I don't think that's a good idea, Detective. You need your rest. I want to see the girl!
coffee? No, thank you. You sure? Detective, I told you no. If we could just get down to the reason I'm sitting here now. Come on, Miss Cutterwell. You know why you're here. I told those kids not to go out there. I warned them about that. I called you and I told you about it. I'm not here to blame you, Miss Cutterwell. I just need to know what you know. Why don't you talk to your father? Ryan Sr. knows the whole story. Man, my father is a prisoner of Alzheimer's, and you know that. Well, he did know. He was around back then, just as I was. He never told you the whole story. I've only heard what kids have said around town, ghost stories at best. But you know them to be true now, don't you? You're the only one that knows what happened out there all those years ago, as far as I know. I love those kids. If I could have physically stopped them from going out there myself, I would have. None of the other local kids are stupid enough to go out there. I know, Miss Cuttlewell. I know. It's just a shame that nobody ever found that psycho and stopped it from happening in the first place. Believe me, if my dad was sane, I'd give him hell for not fixing this problem at the woods. Now go on, tell me. His name is Charlie Graves. About 30 years ago, a young man named Charlie Graves lived out there off of Deer Park Road. You know, one of those old dirt roads out there. The boy just wasn't right. Nice kid and all, but his brain it just didn't work right. I guess nowadays he would have been considered retarded or mentally challenged. I don't know, his folks never had him diagnosed. The kids in the town picked on him, prodded him, they bullied him. He never had any friends. His parents did take care of him, but they never paid any attention to him. His only friend was his pet dog. It was his best and only friend. That dog? That's the one. He used to take Polaroids of stuff all over town. This must be one of them. The dog's name was Gunther. Trouble really started one day when Charlie was out playing ball near the woods with Gunther. He would hit the ball and Gunther would bring it back. They used to do it for hours, those two. But that day, a few of the local hoodlums came by and they started teasing Charlie, like they always did. But on this day, one of the boys brought his father's shotgun with them. I guess they thought it'd be funny to scare Charlie's dog or something. Who knows what they were thinking, but on that day they shot Charlie's dog. Killed it dead, right there. I remember hearing Charlie's screams down the road where we used to live. Charlie went crazy after that. I know he charged those boys with his wooden baseball bat. He didn't stop swinging until they were dead. I remember your dad telling me they were unidentifiable, except for the clothing they were wearing. Charlie ran home after that, carrying Gunther's body with him. That night, some of the parents showed up at the Graves' house, raising hell. Your dad was en route at the time, but I was there. Those people weren't thinking right. We're talking lynch mob. I don't remember what one thing led to the next. I remember one of the parents lighting a bottle of liquor on fire, and they just tossed it into the house. I could hear Mr. and Mrs. Graves hollering, screaming and hollering. The place went up like a box of matches. When your dad showed up with his guns drawn, Mr. Graves had already run out of the house, completely engulfed in flames. He fell down, screamed as he burned. I'll never forget that scream. I don't know what happened to Mrs. Graves. I guess she burned up, she died from the smoke or something. But I'll tell you this, I saw little Charlie run out of the back of that house. I saw him, he was carrying a blood-stained sheet with something underneath it. It must have been Gunther's body. I think he had his bat with him, too. I was the only one who noticed. The rest of the night was pure chaos. Your dad had a hell of a situation on his hands. Charlie, he ran up into the woods. Well, what did my dad say? He knew where Charlie went, and I told him what I saw. But he never could find Charlie out there. I visited that place many times for the first couple of years. He never showed himself to me. I really thought him dead there for a while, till I started noticing things being collected and kept. Could have been homeless people or something, though. I did come across his bat a few times. I don't think he would have ever hurt me. But I knew he had to still be out there. Your daddy just didn't have the funds or the manpower to just keep searching that place. Times were different back then. Cases just weren't pursued like they are nowadays. I can't believe all this happened and dad never told me the truth. That's why kids are always warned to stay away from that place. Fiction or not. I can't believe to this day Charlie still walks those woods. Those kids were warned not to go out there. 
Did they listen? No excuse, though. Charlie is responsible for this. He's become more unhinged than I ever thought he could be. Attacking innocent kids like this? This can't keep going on, Detective. Don't worry, Miss Kettlewell. I promise you, this, this is going to end. Are you in here? Are you in here? Where are you? What about here? Are you in here? Are you in there? I hate you in here. <laughs> Are you looking for this? Where'd you find this? I had to look everywhere just to find my keys. <laughs> you would lose your head if this wasn't glued on. You're right, it is glued on. <laughs> I don't know what's happening!
What can I do for you, Ann? Still working on the house after all these years? Well, since you moved out, I haven't had a lady around here to bitch at. Stuff just doesn't seem to get done anymore. Yeah, I miss you too. Charlie's still coming around? I still see him once in a while out there with the chickens. Well, his love for those animals is something that's never going to go away. So, what brings you out here, darling? You don't get to call me darling. Sorry. I guess that's a privilege I lost in a divorce. Look, I didn't come out here to start a fight. I was just hoping I could catch Charlie out here. I was hoping to avoid trudging through those woods today. You going out there? Why? I figure everything going on with the cops right now, you try to avoid that place. You heard. Yeah, I think Charlie's gone off the deep end. You talked to the police? No, they haven't showed up here. Not yet, at least. No, I don't think I could give up Charlie if they did. Kid's been through too much. What happened to the kids the other day shouldn't have happened, but... You don't want to see Charlie locked up for the rest of his life, do you? No, I don't. All right, Tom, you take care of yourself, you hear? Wait. I don't think he'd ever hurt you. But I feel better knowing you had this. So you're really gonna go back out there? I have to. I think the guy's gone, Ryan. The boys never found him. They never found that girl's brother either. You really think he's still alive? I think there's a chance, yeah. <laughs> I can't stop you, but I can fire you. You just got out of the hospital two days ago. Yeah, you can fire me, but you won't. You're right. Plus, technically, I'm on vacation anyways. I'm not even on the job. Detective, watch yourself out there.
than me now. You come on out here, Charlie Graves. There's nothing to be afraid of. I know what happened out here the other day, Charlie. I know what you did to those kids. Look at me, Charlie. I knew those kids, Charlie. I've known them since they were small. And you had the nerve to do that to them? Kids, Charlie, children. All I ever ask is that you keep yourself hidden. All I ask is no one gets hurt. Listen, Charlie, I'm not mad at you. I'm just concerned. You hurt those kids, Charlie. Now the police are looking for you and they will find you. I protected you as long as I can, and now it's over. When they find you, they will throw you in jail. You're never gonna be free again, Charlie, never. But I can make it okay, Charlie. I can make it all go away. I can make sure you never have to go with them. Graves, I'm here. I'm here. Graves, where are you? I've got your picture. Graves! Graves! 
Where are you at? Got you now, son of a bitch. Step out! I got what you want. Is this what you want? I know it is. Step out. Come on, reach out and take. Take the fucking picture. Here, take it. There, now you got your fucking picture. Fucking bat! So you're Jeremy. Yeah. We've been looking for you.
Take from me. 